What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Torino Career Mode. This is episode number 80 and we start today's episode off with Barcelona accepting our bid of £38 million for Neymar. Yes, Luis Enrique says £38 million is enough for Neymar because he does have his contract up at the end of the year and uh, clubs can sign him for a free in January if they'd like to do so. So they're going to cash in as, as, uh, as well as they can do here, get £38 million for Neymar and Neymar looks like he's on his way to the Stadio Olimpico de Torino because I was contemplating asking him to take a pay cut but then I thought, probably not the best idea so Neymar is going to come in and join us 200 grand a week on a 38 million pound deal and to me again that's another really good signing you know first Sterling for 18 million pounds that was his valuation then Arialdo a straight swap deal with a player that wasn't growing in De Vrij that was another great deal and now Neymar for one and a half million pounds less than his valuation all three of those deals in my opinion are really really good and of course if you missed the last couple of episodes I highly recommend you go back and watch them we sold Sergio Aguero to Bayern Munich for £85 million pounds. and now of course we sign these three players to come in and join us here at Torino uh, Neymar Arialdo and of course Sterling as well and I'm so excited for this new season because you can see by the first 11 I have gone and changed the um Changed the, uh, the formation. It's a 4 5 1. I'm probably going to play this this year. Neymar will be my main striker. He's got some incredible stats. He could definitely play striker, no doubt about that. And uh, yeah, Neymar coming in. I'm I'm really excited for this season. You know, I really am. Because last season, when we sold Dybala, instead of buying like two or three great players with 66 million pounds, we spent it all on one player. We spent it all on Sergio Aguero. This season, we signed three players with the money. Of course, Ariado was a straight swap deal. But either way, three players with that money we got for Aguero. And there's still a lot of money left over in the kitty you know there's still like 20 odd million left so there's still a chance for us to sign some more players too and this is going to be an awesome awesome final season I really do feel that completely changing Torino and seeing if this new group of players can come in and uh, benefit the team as a whole better than just having Sergio Aguero as a world-class striker still we take on Ajax for the first of uh, two games in today's episode here in the Copa Europe of course the Champions League winners were us last season we beat United in the final by two goals to one I do believe Ajax beat Marseille in the Europa League final so it's of course the uh, the one game we have in the new season Champions League winners video Europa League winners we got to the perfect start as well Masaccio who now looks like he's going to play holding midfield for us this season heads in this Shalinolu corner puts it into the top corner and makes it 1-0 to Torino so not a new signing for us an old boy getting a goal well he came in last season but either way uh, a player's been here for more than six months I guess scoring a goal and making it Torino 1 Ajax 0 in the 19th minute they'll a good chance for Ajax to equalise here as they get onto the ball and shoot from just inside the area but the shot is way off target behind for a goal kick so still Torino 1 Ajax Ajax nil. And in the 24th minute here, a good chance to make it 2-0 for, uh, for Torino. Raheem Sterling gets on the ball, goes down the left-hand side here. He's got Neymar with him, but instead he uh, back heels it to him down the left-hand side. Neymar takes it around his man with a quick little uh, fake Rabona, whips it across to the centre. Shalinoli wins the header, but it goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick. So still Torino 1, Ajax nil. And in the 31st minute, another good chance for Ajax to equalise here as they try and get themselves inside. The uh, number five gets on the ball down the left-hand side for them. Keeps hold of it, plays it inside towards Klassen, who gets onto the ball just just outside the area. Eventually, a shot is taken, but it goes just over the bar and behind for a goal kick. So, still Torino 1, Ajax 0. And in the 36th minute here, a good chance for Torino on the break as Motta gets on the ball, pokes it through towards the goal scorer, Masaccio. Brilliant, brilliant ball roll. Uh, sorry, brilliant uh, free ball towards Neymar. He goes through 1 on 1. Heel to heel flicks around the goalkeeper, and it's a debut goal for our new Brazilian. Neymar grabs it and makes it Torino 2, Ajax 0. So, a brilliant, brilliant ball by Masaccio, playing in that holding midfield position this year, and a great finish by. By Neymar one on one with the goalkeeper knows he's going to commit so we heal the hill flicks around him and tucks the ball into the open goal and makes it Torino 2 Ajax 0 so Aguero was a great replacement for Dybala is Neymar going to be the replacement for Sergio Aguero should I look for a new striker what should I do here because Neymar's already got a goal on his debut are we going to have Neymar as our main striker this season or shall we look somewhere else well Neymar does score here so he makes it Torino 2 Ajax 0 and he's going to make a claim this season to be our first choice striker of course he's taken a number four jersey that Dybala and Aguero were wearing so you're definitely thinking that Neymar will be the number one striker this season still Ajax went pretty close there on the stroke of half time that shot going just wide the post in the 52nd minute here another good chance for Ajax down the right hand side they get themselves inside the area. It's headed away by Danilo. But eventually, Klassen spreads the ball out wide towards the number five. It's crossed into the centre, and Maximovic and Arialdo, well, you know, offensively, we've got some great players. There's no doubt about that. But defensively, that was very poor. I mean, Maximovic goes for the header. He gets a flick on it, I think. But Arialdo, you know, making his debut, a new signing for us. I don't know why he committed there. I didn't ask him to commit. He just decides to come forward and get in the way. He loses his man, and eventually, it's turned in in the centre. To 
to make it Torino 2 Ajax 1. So you can see Arialdo come there for no reason when he had the man marked. It was just a ridiculous piece of defending, really, from our new number five. Either way, Lassie turns it in and he makes it Torino 2 Ajax 1. So Ajax back in the game here nine minutes after the restart. But directly from kickoff, we try to respond and get our two goal cushion back as Darmian receives the ball from Arialdo. He's plays it through towards Raheem Sterling. He pokes it inside towards Neymar, who scored our second goal. He ball rolls it, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, free balls towards Masaccio. Masaccio finds Hakan Chalanolu, cuts inside to Shoe, and Chalanolu finds the back of the net and makes it Torino 3, Ajax 1. So a great finish by Hakan there. He got an assist for the Masaccio goal, and now Masaccio pays him back by getting an assist for his goal, and Chalanolu makes it 3 1 to Torino. So really good finish there by the Turkish midfielder. He scored in the Super Coppa. He scores here as well in the Coppa Europe. He gets our two goal cushion back and Ajax were playing quite well in this game but every time we went forward we looked like testing Jesper Sillison another goal for us there Torino 3 Ajax 1 and surely now the game is going to be ours because there's no doubt they can definitely come back from two goals down but it was one of those it was one of those games where you just felt like even if they scored you could easily just go back at the other uh, back the other end of pitch and get another goal for you so Torino 3 Ajax 1 in the 69th minute a good chance to make it 4-1 Darmian finds a Mobile off the bench cuts inside here to shoot but it's a good save by the goalkeeper and eventually cleared away by Ajax so still 3-1 but it was how the game would finish 3-1 to Torino so two trophies in our first two games first the Super Copa now the Copa Europe of course this is our first ever Copa Europe we hadn't been um, a winner of any European competition before last season so winning the Copa Europe at the first time of asking really really happy about that another trophy to add to our collection and again it's not one of those trophies where at the end of the season we'll be like oh man that was such a great trophy for us to win we were so happy about that but it's still a trophy at the end of the day you still want to win it and to start the season off with two trophies before the league season is even kicked off that's a really good way to start isn't it really good confidence for the future so Max Mowich lifts the trophy Torino 3 Ajax 1 and again a, a game which I think we deserve to win because Ajax didn't play too poorly or anything but I feel like we were the strongest side overall in the 90 minutes and as you can see with the stats as well, I think that backs me up. So final score, Torino 3, Ajax 1. Great to get the win. And uh, again, I think in my opinion, a deserved one too. So pleased with that. My man of the match was Masaccio. Two assists and a goal as well for the centre-back now playing central defensive midfield. He's going to have a big season there, I do believe. Now he's been pushed up further at the pitch to show what he can do on both ends of the pitch. And uh, following that, we've got £1.7 million for winning the uh, trophy, which is pretty pleasing too. And also we're going to our second and final game of today's episode here against Empoli in our first Serie A game. Of course, winning the two trophies there, really pleased with that. Now taking on Empoli for our first game of the new Serie A season. Last season, of course, we won the Serie A. We won it the year before that as well. So hoping to make it three Serie A titles in a row as we take on Empoli here for the first game of the new season as it kicks off here. And of course, with the uh, the team as well, this game got played two days after the uh, the Super, not the Super Cup, but the, uh, the Copa Europe against Ajax. So everyone was really, really tired. So I had to make a lot of changes for this game. But either way, went to a 4-4-2, uh, got to give some chances to players like Grenier and Poloski to show us that they deserve to be uh, competing for first team places and Immobile too now he's dropped to the bench but either way he's taken play in the first chance did fall to us through Grenier his shot was well saved with a goalkeeper and turned behind for a corner but in the 15th minute he would win us a penalty here as the French midfielder cuts inside Tonelli takes him down after a Ronaldo chop it's a booking for the Empoli skipper and a great chance to make it Empoli nil Torino one from the spot so no debate about the penalty clear contact a bad challenge and a booking for the captain as well so a great chance to make it 1-0 from the spot it's going to be Neymar against the goalkeeper. Is Neymar going to score or is Bassi going to make the save? Well, he does dive the right way, but he can't get any gloves on him. And Neymar makes it Empoli nil, Torino 1. So I was saying, you know, is Neymar going to be our main striker this season? Is he going to be the man to replace Sergio Aguero or should we look for a, a natural striker? Well, that's now two goals in two games. Yes, this is a penalty, but either way, a good start for Neymar. He's looked very, very lively early on. He's wearing that number 14 jersey, of course. You know how important it is. So Neymar is probably going to be the main man this season play striker and if we do make any more signings it will probably be in another position still Empoli nil Torino 1 they had a good chance to equalise here in the 33rd minute they played the ball forward but the shot went wide to post and behind for a goal kick so a good chance there but a bad miss really and it was still 1-0 and from the goal kick we pass our way forward Bernie finds Grenier through towards Alexandro Sandro then cross fills it towards Danilo as we pass the ball around and try and retain possession as we like to do Engels then finds John Anthony Brooks here our new centre back who finds Alexandro Sandro through towards Neymar down the left hand side takes it around his man here, lovely little touch there by Neymar. He's got the pace, the agility, and the trickery to beat the defenders. Gets himself inside to shoot, and it's a wonderful goal by Neymar. I thought that was a really, really nice goal there because. 
It's a lovely solo goal. By the way, he turned the defenders and a great finish too. But the patient build-up right from the beginning, we didn't just lump the ball full with Bernie. We just controlled it. We said, hey, they're going to put us under pressure right from the, uh, the, the, uh, the goal kick. But we can work our way out from the back. And once we get ourselves forward, I'm sure we'll take the chance. Exactly what happened there. Neymar gets himself inside. Great finish. And it's Empoli nil. Torino tours. Neymar gets his second goal of the game. And on the stroke of half-time, a good chance for Poloski to make it 3-0 here and get his first goal of the season. It's a good save by Bassi. And eventually Empoli get the ball away. So still 2-0. And in the 64th minute, another good chance for Torino down the right-hand side. Danilo takes around Mario Rui. Gets himself inside here to right back. Swings it across towards a Mobile. But the header goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick. So still 2-0. And that was how the game would finish as well. A 2-0 victory for Torino. So delighted to win in our first game in the Serie A. This season, what are my aims? Well, of course, they're going to be to defend all the trophies we won last season. We got to a great start here in the Serie A. We've already won the Super Copper again. We won the Copper Europe for the first time. A great start to the new season. We may have sold Aguero, but the new look Torino side is looking very, very good indeed. But that does end the episode, guys. So as always, a big thank you for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the episode, then please do leave a like, and I'll see you for the next episode of Torino Career Mode very soon.